And young voters have a big voice in tomorrow's election. They represent 31% of the voting population, according to the Pew Research Center. Whether you're leaning red or blue, history will be made. Haiti Clotter has more on that story. Millennials between the age of 18 and 35 have the power to choose the next commander in chief. Many of them are casting their vote for the first time. It's a big election. There's a lot of things that are in motion right now that determine my future. And it's going to determine my kids' future down the road. So it's kind of looking out for the future generations. The political climate for this election is a lot different from years past. The enthusiasm that was clear for Barack Obama just isn't there for the remaining candidates. Like a lot of Americans, their, their most preferred candidate is not on the ballot. Um, so a lot of them are voting for the lesser of two evils to some extent. Choosing the next president isn't like studying for a final exam. There are many factors involved when choosing a candidate. Character and the stances they take on things, um, not only the policies that they want to put in place, but I kind of just think how they are and how their personality is. Um, I definitely think we need someone that um, cares about the American people. Tuition and health care are just some of the main issues that affect students like Josephine Carlin. As a 21-year-old female, a lot of things could change with this political um, election as far as my rights to my own body and what I can do with my health care and what's covered. And, you know, having a healthy population has to be one of our number one priorities. Madison Pellin says she's excited and terrified about the election and her parents are split with whom they want to end up in the White House. She still knows her voice is important. We're the ones that do like the change or are offended by the change, so why not do something to make the change? We are going to become the leaders of tomorrow and we need to start building our tomorrow today. Every vote counts no matter whom you vote for. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. In an effort to bring out more voters, BSU will also provide transportation for students to the polls. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.